Now, if you've been following the news recently, you'll probably recall seeing something like this in the political coverage. A Treasury source saying there's an eye-watering black hole in the public finances. It's going to be rough. The truth is that everyone's going to have to contribute more in tax if we're going to maintain public services. So a lot of work yet to be done. But what is that black hole? Well, let's go back to first principles and look at this. This is the national debt and just looking at it over the next few years. And what changed in the last few months? Well, you had the mini budget and rather than flatlining, that made the national debt start to rise. And really, what's the black hole? It's all about narrowing that gap, getting the national debt falling or indeed flatlining rather than rising. So we need to work out how we can fill that particular hole. So we'll bring it across and that comes to about £70 billion a year. But here's the good news. There is some good news, though the Treasury doesn't really talk about, want to talk about it that much, which is that actually the size of the black hole isn't rising, it's falling because of lower debt interest costs. And also, on top of that, they have started the work of filling the gap. So you had that undoing the mini-budget, what Jeremy Hunt did uh, a few weeks ago. That brings in about £32 billion, but you still have that gap, about £30 billion you need to find. Uh, what could you do? Well, you could potentially... Up to, uh, upward lift benefits in line with earnings rather than inflation. Not very good for those who are receiving benefits, but does bring in about £5 billion. You could do the same thing for pensions, so get rid of the triple lock as well. You can see we're starting to fill that gap, but these are difficult decisions. You could spend less on investment, not very good for growth, uh, but nonetheless, you could bring in about £10 billion that way. But still, you haven't quite filled it, have you? So you've got to go further. You've got to go for policies like maybe more fiscal drag, so dragging more people into paying higher rates uh, of tax. You could abolish non on status. Uh, that would bring in about £3 billion, maybe not very popular in the Sunak household. Or you could scrap some of the inheritance tax reliefs. So you can see we're gradually getting up uh, towards that black hole. But here's the thing, the Treasury might want to go even further than this because they like to have a bit of headroom. So not just fill in the black hole, but have a better bit of headroom on top. So if you're going to do that, you're having to go for various different policies like, for instance, reinstating the health and social care levy or doing big spending cuts. Those are the kinds of things they're talking about in the Treasury right now. But it's worth just saying, the size of that black hole is determined by how much they want to get the national debt falling.